Well guys, we're back out pike fishing again today. Um, back down Roxham. And uh, yeah, just gonna catch a few live bait, do a bit of dead baiting today as well. See what works out best. And uh, hopefully we get a few pike with my mate today. So hopefully we can both get a couple. And uh, we'll let you know how we get on. I didn't even notice it gone, mate. You know, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. well, there we go, guys. Lovely little pike. We've only been here, I'd say, 15 minutes or so, and his rod just ripped straight off. Hopefully, that means there's a few more to come. But yeah, happy days, let's get them back. There he goes. Well guys, we've had a quick move. We're up at Stalin Boatyard now. As I said, there was a lot of pike fishermen out in Roxham. So um, we had one there and thought we'll have a move. So we've come up to Stalin. We've heard of some decent pike coming out up here. So we'll probably give it a couple of hours, move around the boatyard, but at the minute we're just fishing on the mouth of the main river that's coming into the boatyard which is always you know a prolific sort of area this time of year when the pike are coming in moving into the boatyard so if you can fish on the mouth of them you know and catch them as they're coming in it's always a good option but yeah we'll give it a few hours here and uh i'll let you know how we get on if not we'll have another move i'll see you all soon Well guys, we ended up back in Roxham as uh, we weren't really getting on up at Stalham. But just before I put a bait out, I thought I'd just show you the tactics I use. Just simple float, pike float. I like this style of pike float. Um, a stop knot, sort of gauge your depth, what you want to be at. I have a bead here and then a weighted bead, sort of like a marble shape, it's a weight. Another bead that protect, uh, protects the knot, and just my wire trace, which I've tied myself, which is a dead bait one. Um, just when you're tying onto tying braid, just uh, look up your knots because sometimes they can slip. So just make sure you're using the correct knots. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, let's get a bait on and see if we can get another pike. Well, guys, I think we're gonna start wrapping it up now unfortunately we have uh, we've only had one between us today but you know we have worked our absolute socks off there's been so many pike fishermen out it's been unbelievable all over the banks pike boats they're absolutely everywhere so you know we've we've traveled but um unfortunately yeah i've only had the one but yeah 
that's all we can do really, all we can do is try. So uh, we're back out again, but until next time, tight lines and be lucky.